make sure to stop by the website Black Art Tees only on Etsy.com. 100% black and female owned. We proudly create uniquely beautiful natural hair art t-shirts and African inspired products. We don't do cookie cutter. Want the same old, same old? We ain't the one. Want to stand up and stand out while doing it? Let Black Art Tees be your voice to tell the world that you are black and unapologetically. So be bold, be fierce, be you naturally. Be heard without saying a word. Make sure to stop by the website Black Art Tees only on Etsy.com. Details in the description box. Check out the first novel in the four-part book series, High Flyers, by first-time novelist Zori Maxwell called High Flyers, The Book of Trina, a story about a high school loner named Trina Jackson, whose life is turned upside down when a series of faded events leads her into the path of High Flyer and young college sophomore Derek McNair, sparking the beginning of an unusual friendship and bond between them. Journey with them as they spend a year dealing with the inevitable death of Trina's mother, first love, heartbreak, loss, and racism in early 21st century America in this coming-of-age tale of a black girl's journey into womanhood. Available for sale now on Amazon and BarnesandNobles.com. Download the first two chapters for free today. Make sure to check out the book High Flyers, The Book of Trina by author Zori Maxwell. Details in the description box. Heart-wrenching scenes as a dad who left his twin babies in a hot car to die leaves court. Juan Rodriguez cradled his four-year-old son as his wife Marissa wept on his shoulder. The twins, Luna and Phoenix, died after being left inside their dad's car for eight sweltering hours. 39-year-old Rodriguez says he forgot to drop them at a New York City daycare. He has pled not guilty to manslaughter and released on $100,000 bail. But his attorney is asking for the charges to be dropped. This was a horrific and terrible tragedy. Obviously, my client, Mr. Rodriguez, his wife, his beautiful family, uh, they're completely crushed by this incident. Some 50 family members turned out to support Rodriguez, including his 12-year-old daughter and 16-year-old son. And the New York Daily News said in an editorial today that Rodriguez has suffered enough. A child dies in a hot car every week in America, mostly due to what some doctors are calling forgotten baby syndrome. What is forgotten baby syndrome? It's really a perfect storm of a number of different factors. The parent who typically does not drop them off at daycare is asked to do it and they start off on their normal drive to work and they're supposed to deviate to drop them off at daycare. The child falls asleep and they completely lose awareness that they're in the car. New legislation may force car manufacturers to fit safety devices that will sound an alarm when a baby is left in a car. Sue Ariema of kidsincars.org showed me how it works. All right, so we've got baby Hallie in the back seat, but the air has been running and her window's down, so she's safe for this demonstration. But let's see what happens when we get out, lock the car. When I turn the car off, I got an alert on the dashboard. If I miss that alert and I lock the car and we start to walk away. There it is. An alarm sets off. You cannot miss that. So that blaring horn goes off and now we know we got to go back and get that baby. Exactly. Technology that might prevent more anguish. Hey guys, it's Nicole here, back on this Friday night. I hope you guys are all doing good out there. And welcome back to Nicole's View. So I have been going hard in the paint about this topic on my Facebook page um, because now it's getting to the point to where I'm not buying it. I think it's straight up ludicrous. I think this is for 
uh, parents who don't want their babies anymore, their young kids anymore. I think this is uh, becoming a loophole for folks to get rid of their kids. I'm not buying this madness for a second. Every year, we hear more and more stories of these parents conveniently forgetting their children in hot sweltering cars during the summertime. Not the winter time, but the summertime. And you know, even if you do every now and then hear about a parent leaving their child in a car during the winter time, it's nowhere near the same level as you hear it when parents are leaving their kids in cars during the summer. I'm not buying this at all. We all get busy in life, especially if you are a parent. I get that. I understand that. I understand that accidents do happen. But one of the accidents that I just will not accept is leaving your child, okay, in a hot vehicle, forgetting because you're so busy with what's going on in your life that you forget that your own child is sitting in the back in a hot sweltering car. Okay, I, I, I just, I can't compute that. And another thing is these parents or folks who own guns and just leave them just hanging out where little kids can get them. Those two things, I'm sorry, there are no excuses for that. You are responsible. We all are responsible for our children. No, I'm not sitting up here pretending like I'm Miss Perfect Mama. No, I'm not perfect, okay? But I would never, never do something like this. I would have to literally be um, not alive for something like this to happen. I would literally have to be then passed out in a car, dead, hanging on to life, if my child is sitting in the back and something happened where I couldn't crank up the car. There's, I mean, that could be the only excuse. Okay? Or let's say you get killed, you get shot, or somebody shoot at you. Other than that, what, what is the excuse for this? What is the excuse for this? And the story I'm mainly talking about is this father out of New York, okay? And you have these folks, oh, oh, don't, it could, you know, it was an accident. I'm sure he feels so bad. I'm sure it was just an accident and don't be so hard. They just lost their kids and this and that and the third. I'm not buying it, especially when you have heard on the news, on social media, over and over and over about people just being so caught up in what they're doing or just going shopping and just leaving their kids windows all the way rolled up no air on nothing going just leaving them in there what is the excuse for that and this that inside edition clip I mean spare me forgotten baby syndrome forgotten baby syndrome Listen to me. Listen to me clearly. If you are so busy, if life is pulling you in so many directions that you can't even remember that you placed your babies, your young kids in the back seat of a car, I am begging you, please do not have kids. Please take birth control. Please wear a condom. If your life is that busy, if you are that consumed with the world itself, don't have kids. Don't have them. I, I just, I can't compute that. Folks, I cannot compute that. All these years, we've seen parents with Way more kids than folks have now. There are still, yeah, some people who have a lot of kids, but not like they used to. When have you heard about parents leaving their kids locked up in a hot summer car? I mean, really think about it. 
Was this happening all the time? Decades and decades ago? You maybe can find one rare story. I'm sure somebody will write it in the comment section. But this is becoming a trend. This has become the thing to do. And all you got to do is say, oh my God, house is so busy. Oh my God, I don't usually drop my kid off. Oh my God, you know, I was at work for 10 hours. I didn't think about the kid at all, but I was at work for 10 hours and just so busy. Just, you know, and then I go to my car, it's five, six o'clock and oh, my babies are back here dead. I'm not buying that bullshit. And if you're buying it, you don't need to have kids. You don't need to be watching them. You don't need to have kids in your uh, vicinity. Really? Is this what we're doing? And I say to those of you out there who leave excuses for this and say, oh, don't be so hard on these people. You know, these families, they're so distraught. It was just a big accident. Now, let's say if the person is the school bus driver, is the daycare driver, and your kids is on that bus, and your kids is on that van, and the bus driver didn't check, your, chi your kid dies on that bus. Is, is it okay just to say, well, don't be so hard on the bus driver, you know, it's sad. It's so tragic. I'm, I'm sure they're distraught. I mean, you know, but it is what it is. Let bygones be bygones. Hell no. You would be pissed. You would be livid. And you would be suing everybody in sight. You'd be suing the daycare. You'd be suing the school. You'd be suing the bus driver. You would be suing everybody. And you would be demanding charges be filed. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that with a straight face. The fact that they now have to create cars, they, they have to create cars with alarms on them just so you can remember your kid is in the back? And then I wonder, did he forget his cell phone that day? Are these parents forgetting their cell phones? But they forget their babies in the back? You, you guys honestly is, expect me to believe that. You expect me to believe that. Do I look like Boo Boo the Fool? This is a, another way or the new way to pretend, you know what? I'll just pretend, we'll just pretend like folks who don't want kids no more, who don't want their kids or who never really wanted them in the first place. This is going to be the thing to do now. You know, because now a lot of these states, they're outlawing abortion. You're, you're giving them a new way out. Until these laws start coming down and putting these folks in jail. And not just dismissing it as an accident. And it just, it, you know, it just did. It's forgotten baby syndrome. Miss me with that. Miss me with that BS. I'm not even trying to hear it. I'm not trying to hear it at this day uh, in time. I'm not trying to hear it. Who in the hell forgets babies in a hot summer car? Your ass got out the car. How about you sit in that car? No air running. It's 100 degrees. I live in Texas, okay? Y'all know it gets hot here. I'm in Austin. Austin, not only is it hot, but it gets humid. It's hot and humid. You, some days it feels like you can't even breathe. Y'all know who live in the central Texas area. Y'all know. It gets so hot here in the summer. I mean, I cannot imagine what their poor bodies are going through. Just imagine that. I know how it feels just to be outside hot, walking around in 100 plus degree weather. I can imagine what babies and little toddlers, what they're going through. And they're crying, the agony of it. It's like a slow, torturous death. And you have people out here excusing this. You have people now having to create cars with alarms on it. Is this how low folks have become in this society? I mean, is life that busy for you? I just say don't have kids. If you're going to live a hectic, 
busy 24 seven life and you know you're not going to be like that caring for a child hands on like that don't have kids do us all a favor don't have kids don't have kids don't adopt kids don't foster kids don't have kids around you hell don't work with kids only worry about you because when I see stuff like this that's what I'm thinking in the back of my head this is a this is a way for me to get out of this I can you know just say this happened B, oh, I can't afford another child. Oh, my God. Let's just say, oh, uh, I forgot I'm in the car. Or C, you're just evil. And this has happened again in Dallas. Yeah. Nine-month-old baby left in a car at a car wash. I mean, this is some sick stuff, folks. This is sick. And it's disturbing to me as someone who is a mother and who works with kids on a daily basis. And once again, I'm not sitting up here pretending to be um, just a saint. Okay. Pretending to be the perfect um, child care provider, the, perf the perfect mother. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm, I'm not even going to sit up here and pretend. Yes, I make mistakes. Yes. Especially dealing with my own child. But one thing I would never do is something like this. I'd have to be dead. That's the only way I can excuse something like this. That you're basically dead. You didn't have a heart attack. You've been shot. You were getting in your car. And, you know, you passed out. You had an aneurysm. Something like that. Other than that, oh, I'm just so busy. I got to get to work. I got to do this. I got to do that. Oh, 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 I've got the babies in the car for nine hours. No. No. And folks out there at this stage in the game, please stop giving folks excuses. Now they're, they're naming it forgetting, forgotten baby syndrome. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. And I do give a side eye to folks who make excuses for this. Because there is no excuses besides death. I'll give you death. That's it. You've croaked over. You've been shot. You've been stabbed. You've been killed. And you're inside your car and somebody did it. And then they left you in there with your child in the back. That's the only excuse I'm, I'm buying. Other than that, I'm not buying it. So, please, if you are a new parent and you just, oh, you're just going to forget, turn on the damn alarm, put your purse in the back, put your wallet in the back. This is a damn shame that we even have to say this. I have to say this. Okay? Put something back there so you remember your child is back there. If you're just going to have kids anyway. And you feel like you're that type to just forget. Just think if it was you. Just think if it was you. How would you feel? I, I can't imagine. My mom had three daughters. She's never done that. A majority of our parents have never done that. And if they did leave you in the car, you were old enough to get out on your own. So no. Uh-uh. I'm... I'm, I'm this, I'm not buying it. And that father in New York and, and the wife, that looks so contrived, it's not even funny. It didn't seem sincere to me. It didn't seem realistic. It just seemed like they're just faking it. I'm, I'm not with this at all. At all. Um, so the latest with that is the brief or the... Um, the press conference they had the other day and this is from cnn.com it says the father of twins who died in a hot car gets support from a crowd in a brief court hearing and like i said earlier imagine in that crowd this father was a bus driver a school bus driver and left their kid on the bus you think they'd be out there supporting this a New York man facing charges in connection with the hot car deaths of his one-year-old twins 
drew support from his wife and other relatives uh, and friends Thursday morning as they packed a Bronx courtroom during a brief hearing. Uh, Juan Rodriguez, 39, learned in Thursday's hearing that the district attorney had not yet asked a grand jury to determine whether to indict him. At a news conference afterward, he stood silently with his, his wife, Marissa Rodriguez, holding his arm as his attorney said he hopes the prosecutor will ultimately not pursue the case. After another hearing, uh, excuse me, another hearing will be held uh, August 27 to determine whether a grand jury has uh, been convened said his attorney Joey Jackson who is also a CNN analyst. Now I, I like Joey Jackson. One one thing about Joey Jackson is um, when the Cosby case was going on he was one of the most fair across the board folks reporting on it which was so rare you know but I'm shocked he's actually on this case but you know they gotta work. We are hopeful that that will be that will not be the case Jackson said I guess being um, brought up on charges. We are speaking to the district attorney's office to um, uh, convey to them that I think they know and understand that this was a hor horrific and terrible tragedy, Jackson said. Rodriguez was arrested after his twins, Luna and Phoenix, were found Friday afternoon unresponsive in the back seats of his Honda sedan, sedan in the Bronx, allegedly after having been in the car for about eight hours, the New York Police Department said. Rodriguez had been working that day at a nearby Veterans Affairs Hospital and he told investigators that he assumed he had dropped them off at a daycare facility. That morning, police said in a criminal complaint filed in court, temperatures that Friday reached highs in the mid-80s. According to the National Weather Service, the twins were pronounced dead on the scene. Rodriguez was arraigned on Saturday in New York on charges of manslaughter, ne negligence, homicide and endangering the welfare of a child according to the New York City Police Department he pleaded not guilty and Patrice O Shognasi 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 I know I'm butchering that last name sorry a spokeswoman for the Bronx uh, district attorney he said it was a horrific accident okay so yeah it's just going on and on talking about the trial or not the trial but the um the accident and whatnot i'm i'm just not buying it i'm not buying it and it's giving a um kind of like a timeline of the events but i'm not buying this i'm sorry i'm just i'm just not i guess call me that cynical it's just folks will do anything Folks will, will do anything. If they truly don't want their kids, they'll come up with all kinds of schemes. Don't be surprised if 10, 15 years down the road, we find out that this was all planned out. Because it's happening way too much. Way too much. Nah, I'm not buying it. Not buying it at all. But anyway, folks, let me know what you think. Do you believe this was a true accident or do you think this is the new way to get rid of kids you don't want let me know in the comment section like comment share and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video make sure to check out brother hank's three youtube channels the first ibm or one man army against racism channel for intel ones intel from black or new copper race forms and black or bright and latino and all positive people's safety zone now brother hank is bringing you the latest news reviews commentaries and so much more on all three of his youtube channels so make sure to stop by show your support like comment and subscribe details to his three channels will be in the description box Check out the book Granddaddy by author Cavis Adams. Granddaddy is a close up view into the distant past and back again, a stream of generational consciousness that slows to show the story of a lone black family in white America. From the fiery era of sharecropping in the South to the deathly cold industry of the modern North, the reader will migrate in heart and mind along the span of three generations, finding ourselves finally close to how we came to be today. 
As lived by a lone family torn between time and place, this book tells the closer story of a greater reality, that of the great black migrations from a racially segregated South up to the equally fragmented Northern states and what was lost by a people along the way. Make sure to check out the book, Granddad. Details in the description box. Hey guys, it's Nicole here and I thank you for your viewership. Now, do you have a business of some sort? Do you have a clothing line, a shoe line, hairline, books, music, movies? Heck, your own YouTube channel you want to promote? Well, let me know. Email me at NicoleLewisForChange at gmail.com where I offer a low monthly fee for you to run your ad on my pre-recorded videos. Also, do you just love what I do and want to show your support? Well, support me on Patreon, PayPal, Venmo, Google Pay, Cash App, basically any and everywhere. So show your support for the new black media and all of our endeavors. Thank you so much. I'll see you all in the next video.